our memorabilia museum, presided over by the MC, our executive producer, a real mover and shaker. He'll shake hands with anyone in a crowd.
construction, we are going through a stage. Literally. An actor fell through the floor last week. Yellow leather, red. Red leather. What did you do to die today at a court? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't realize everyone had gotten here. My goodness. Apologies, everybody. Thank you so much for responding to my invitation and joining me here to work on this wonderful play, The Tempest. As you all know, you incredible, amazing, experienced actors that you are, especially you, my friend. I know you have great experience with this show. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence and the rest of you. Absolutely. I hope you're as excited as I am to work on this fabulous show, The Tempest by William Shakespeare, right? That's right. It does deserve a dance party. Actually, let's all have a little dance. Let's get, you know, stretch out, get ready to work, right? Do those actory things. Everyone take some deep breaths in and out. And in, and out. Yeah, really give a big stretch, big stretch. Get the body warmed up, yes. Oh, I'm feeling so good now, yeah? Feeling ready to work. Okay, so, uh, The Tempest, right? A uh, very appropriate, we are here gathered around a fire telling stories like people have done throughout eons of time. Yes. And The Tempest is a great story, right? We've got magic, revenge, love, all kinds of great things, yes? So, where to begin? Well, at the beginning, of course. I think that makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. 
So the beginning of the tempest, as you know, is a great tempest, a storm of sound and fury and lightning and thunder. And we have a ship caught in this tempest, right? And we see it as the audience sort of as the stage opens. We maybe see some lightning and hear some thunder. We see sailors running around trying to save their ship. Yes, you look like you've always dreamed of a life at sea. You, my friend, I see it in your face. An adventurer you are. You shall be one of our sailors. Up you go. Hello, sailor. Very good, very good, yes. And you, my friend, right here, this small one here, yes. You, you, I can see you on a ship. Sailing the high seas, that's right. All right, up you go. All right, sailors, stay beautiful for a moment. You guys, now. Back in Shakespeare's time, they didn't have a ton of fancy special effects, right? They made do with maybe some lights, some a few sound effects. So we are going to be the special effects crew. There you go. That's for you. Very nice. And for you, my friend. Okay. Very good. We want to shine those up at the balcony. Don't look directly into it. There we go. See, you can shake it. Make some sort of stormy effects. Yes. Flick it on and off. Very good. All right, sailors, are you ready? Yes, special effects crew, are you ready? Excellent, all right. We begin, as the 400-year-old stage direction says, with a great tempestuous noise of thunder and lightning. Rawr. Good, yes, yes, very good, okay. And we see a great, unnatural, magical storm. We see it in glimpses and flashes of the lightning. We see our intrepid sailors trying to save their ship from ruin, trying to save the passengers. We hear the bosun cry out above the waves, Hi, my hearts! Cheerily, my hearts! Bring in the top mast! Bring in the top mast. Tend to the master's whistle! Blow till thou burst thy wind, if room enough. Good, good special effects. Yes, very good back there. The storm is getting worse. It's getting worse. Oh, shit's going bananas. Oh, my God. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lower. Lower. Bring her on to try the main course. Oh. But to no avail. The ship is torn apart by Prospero's magic the instrument of his revenge. And that is where we begin our story. Throw the lights. Woo, look at them go. Throw them off the cliff. Very good, sailors. That was brilliant. Real theatrical magic. I felt it in here. Yes, let's bring you back down to safety. There you go, my sailors. Oh, that was so good. Like, really, I felt it. Yes. Well done. No wonder you're such famous actors. Wow, I'm excited for the rest of the show. <sighs> Man. But, you know, speaking of magic, actually, real magic, right, is transformational. Yes, you are different than you were when it started. And you all possess something very transformational and very magical. One of the oldest forms of magic. All of you have one right now. You know what it is? Yes! Ten points! Good job! Masks! Masks are actually one of the oldest forms of what is considered magic right? Because you could change your face, hide your intentions, become a god or a beast or whatever you wanted, transform yourself as it were. So we're going to experiment a little with that here. Everyone take one of these. Very good. Here you go. Yes, very good. Ah, of course, my wonderful experienced friend here, great tempestuous actor. Oh, hold on. We got one more for you. There you go will show you how it's done, how to access this magic. Yes, my friend? So everyone take off your mask, hold it in one hand like so, just like our friend here. Yes, take it off, pull it down, and lay the stick atop it. Very good. Oh, are you missing your, your stick? There you are. Yes, yes, very good. And snap, snap, and start to circle counterclockwise, reversing time, transforming something ordinary into something extraordinary. Ah, that's all right. Keep going. Magic is hard the first time. Give it another try. Snap and turn back. Snap and turn back. Transform. Transform. 
Very good. Very good, my spirits. Yes. Yes. You're doing it. Oh. It works. We've done it. You see, we've transformed something ordinary into the very ship I spoke of earlier. And on this ship, we begin our story, right? We have... We have uh, Alonzo, the king of Naples, and Antonio, Prospero's brother, Sebastian, the king's brother, and the king's son, Ferdinand. Why are they all on this ship? Because Prospero, the great magician whom they all betrayed many years ago, has commanded the elements to create this storm and bring all of his enemies to him. In the play they go, by accident, most strange, hath bountiful fortune brought mine enemies to my shore. And now, with the help of my spirits, all of you, now, go. Make thyselves like a nymph o' the sea. Take hands, be unseen to any sight but thine and mine, invisible to every eyeball else. Go, take thou this shape. Approach, my Ariel, I am ready! I boarded the king's ship. Now in the deck, now in the waist, in every cabin I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune did seem to besiege and make his bold waves tremble. <laughs> Yea, his dread trident shake. Not a soul among them but felt a fever of the mad. <laughs> and played some tricks of desperation. All but mariners plunged in the foaming brine. Then, all afire with me, the king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man who leaped and cried, Hell is empty, and all the devils are here! as are those aboard our ship. Yes, oh yes, costume change, very nice, right? Now I am Prospera the Magician. Yes, and this is my, my home away from home. Uh, as an actor, as well all of you glorious people know, we try and get inside the minds of our characters, right? We try and say, who is this person? Why do they do the things that they do? And so to do that, I've sort of tried to pick bits and pieces from Prospera's life, memories, and fill her home with them, like we do, right? As humans, we take uh, pictures, we bring back mementos of trips, things that hold special moments, special memories for us. Precisely, yes. Oh, very good. You see, this ivy branch reminds me of my brother. Yes, it's true. With help from the kingdom of Naples, my brother Antonio did usurp me and set me to sea with my daughter, Miranda. My brother, Antonio, having both the key of office and the officer, set all hearts in the kingdom to what tune pleased him. He was the ivy that had hid in my princely trunk and sucked my ventured marrow out. You see, the ivy creeps in and steals out the life force of the tree. That was my brother to me. Into the memory pond with you. Ah! Ah, yes, the ring of state of Naples, indeed. And so, Antonio, my brother, made an alliance with the king of Naples to give him annual tribute and do him homage. Subject his coronet to his crown, the dukedom Milan, as yet unbowed, alas, poor Milan, to most ignoble stooping. You see, Milan was always its own kingdom. 
and my brother put it in sway to the king of Naples. Ah, you, my spirit, would you grab me that bottle? Yes, it contains my most precious memory. Hold it and keep it safe. Ah, yes, indeed. Ah, the dukedom of Milan was mine, by right. Yes, <laughs> but through foul play, Miranda, my daughter, and myself came from thence. My brother, Miranda's uncle, called Antonio, did claim my dukedom for his own. Yes, into the memory pond with you. Ah, perfect spirit. This bottle contains my most precious memory. Ah, the rest of them are exploring. I understand it is fun, my spirits, but you, I shall share with you. The daughter, ah, there you are. Come closer, my darlings, come closer. And see the very beginning of this story. You see, my daughter Miranda and myself were put adrift in the ocean. There, have a look in that bottle. It contains this memory. Yes, yes. Very good. Spirit, would you dump it into the pond there, and I'll show you more. Very good. Ah, who has my staff? Aha, here it is. <laughs> I'd lose it myself. Very good, Spirit. Very good. Now, you take this and wave it over the pond. Yes, good, Spirit. Good. Yes. My people provided our escape aboard a rotten carcass of Neither sail, nor tackle, nor mast it had, the very rats instinctively had quit it. And there they hoist us, to sigh to the sea that roared to us, to cry to the wind, whose piteous cries back to us again did us but loving roll. My poor little Miranda, just a child, and they set us to sea, not caring if we lived or died. But now is the time for revenge, my friends. The time is at hand. We have waited, and we shall have our revenge. Yes. Ah, but perhaps it must wait a little bit longer. Can't do revenge on an empty stomach. I don't think, anyway. <laughs> there we go. Sustenance. Marshmallows, sugary goodness. Toast those up in the fire, my spirits. Yes, and then we shall begin the revenge. Ah, very nice. Oh, this is nice, having just a little, a little time around the fire, toasting marshmallows like civilized folk. Very nice. Yes, nice toasty brown. Cheers, spirit. Cheers. Cheers. Very good. Mm. Oh, excellent. Very good. Mm. Very nice and good. Mm. Mm. Oh, I feel much better now. I feel like I can go forth for the revenge. Yes, needed some sustenance there. Needed to sort of fulfill myself. How's everybody doing? Feeling good about revenge? Yes, feeling good. Phase two, ready? We are ready for phase two. All right, onward. Ah, the island. This is where we landed. When we finally came ashore, you see right here, through this little inlet. Yes, there. Quite beautiful, actually. You see, right through those rocks there, we came ashore. Yes. Well, if you want, spirits, have a bit of a run around, explore a little bit. I'll give you ten seconds to have a run around. It's a really nice island. I shouldn't keep it all to myself, you know. I, I think everyone deserves a bit of an explore. Yes. Have fun. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy, spirits. If you're ready, I have snacks. Spirits, snacks. Snacks. I know you want a snack. Yes, come on. Yes, snack. Cracker. This is how I tempt my spirits. And you... Ooh. Ooh, sushi. Yes, have some potato chips or some sushi. Sushi? Fresh. Look, we've got fresh fish. Snacks. Snacks, my spirits. Potato chips. Oh, so many potato chips. Ooh, a hamburger. Yes, very nice. Ooh, coconut. Flying coconut. There you go. Nice. Where's our final spirit? Spirit! Spirits! Here, spirit, 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 spirit. Here, spirit, spirit. 
Maybe they've gotten lost. Who oh, no! We've lost a spirit. Eee, spirit, spirit, spirit. Come on, little spirit. Good spirit. Uh, my dear, uh, my darling, would you, um, would you go and look for our, our lost spirit? Oh, wait, have they found us yet? All right, we've sent a spirit to look for a spirit. Spirit, come on back, spirit. That's all right. That's all right, spirits. They'll, they'll come back to us. I, I have faith. I have faith in our, in our little lost spirit. They've just gone on a wander, you know. That's okay. But they'll miss the next... Oh, all right. Well, on to phase two. Yes? Phase two. Ah, there they are. Yeah, spirit. Come on back. Little spirit. Yeah. Good spirit. That's a good spirit. So far, poor little thing. I hope they're not frightened. Come on back, come back, my spirit. Well, they were having fun, you know. You can't help it. It is a beautiful island. I wonder if it's all over it. Ah, good. Yes, come on. Oh, good. Come on back. Then it's snack time. That's okay. You can have a snack, though. Ooh. You here. You go. I won't hold it against you. I won't hold it against you, sir. You miss snack time. Have a coconut. Very good. All right, my friends. Phase two of four. Phase two. So phase one was bring all of my enemies to the island. Phase two is to get the prince of Naples, Ferdinand, and my daughter, Miranda, to fall in love. Why, you ask? <laughs> yes, because it ensures my legacy. It's all for the children, right? If Ferdinand and Miranda get together, then Naples and Milan are equals once more, and everything is ensured. Yes? So, that is goodness. That is goodness indeed. Now, you, you, my friend right here, yes, something about you, don't you think? They're very princely, I think. Yes, very princely. They've got something about them that's quite, quite glamorous and elegant. Yes, you must play Ferdinand, my friend. How do you feel about that? Yes, you will play the prince. Oh, good. Yes, good. Okay. I thought you might like that. And you get a stylish hat. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And you. 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 This, you are great and experienced in this role. I'm sure you've performed Miranda many times. And I sense I can trust you with this delicate role. Yes, the innocence and sweetness and beauty of Miranda. Yes, indeed. I see it in you. Ah, there we go. There she is, Miranda. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Ferdinand, are you sad you didn't get a song? Okay, wait. We'll pick up with Ferdy's song. Ferdinand, Ferdinand, he is rocking that Ferdy stance. Yeah. There we go. Ferdinand gets a song. All right. So, uh, you. Yes, you. You have the sense of a director to me. I feel it in you. You have purpose and knowledge. Yes, yes you do. You will direct this scene, all right? Oh good, okay, so we've got to give Ferdinand some acting advice, all right? I will, I will interpret your thoughts. Describe it for me in gestures and I will interpret. All right, very good. Ah, yes, be very grand, Ferdinand. You are a prince. You are a prince, Ferdinand, but also very caring and loving, yes. Because you're sad, you see your father you think he is dead, so you are dealing with great sadness. But you're still a prince. Yes. So, think of all of that, Ferdinand. Very nice. Oh, that's good advice. That was some good direction, right? Very nice. Yes. Now, you must direct Miranda as well, director. Hair director. Yes, very good. Now, Miranda, you are sweet and lovely and innocent. You've never seen another man before, not even really another human being. All right, so this is what you are feeling. Wow, the director is really, Ferdinand is really happy with this director. Wow, Ferdy. Oh, goodness. All right, you guys. Whoa, so much act, so much love in the air. That was some good advice. Hair director, will you uh, tell the actors where to stand, please? Now, you, my darling, 
You are my spirit in this. I need you to spy on what is happening, and I need you to spread the love juice through the air, make it feel like one of those romantic comedies. Wave your arms around, move and dance around the happy couple. Yes, you're going to be sort of fluffing the air with love, right? I want it to feel like one of those moments in a romantic comedy when the two people see each other and the music comes on and it's like, I can feel you calling in the air tonight. Oh, no. Right? That's what I want the feeling, okay? All right, Herr Director, are you ready? Good, Ferdy. Oh, very nice. Okay, so... Director, Spirit, will you dance around, dance around uh, Miranda for now, yes? Dance around Miranda for now, Spirit. Very good, Ferdy. Good, stay right there. Perfect. Hair Director, are you ready? And action. Miranda sees Ferdinand from afar. She says, what is a spirit? I might call him a thing divine, for nothing natural I ever saw so noble. And now, Ferdy, you turn and you see Miranda. <gasps> oh, and you say, most sure the goddess on whom these heirs attend. That's you, spirit. Be around Miranda, fluffing the love. Yes. You're like greasing the camera. Very good. Most sure the goddess on whom these heirs attend. Oh, you wonder, be you made or no? No wonder, sir, but certainly a maid. Good, spirit. More juice. More juice, spirit. Right? Yeah, I think more juice. And now, Ferdy, you get really excited. She speaks your language, which in this case is Italian, but, you know, it's very exciting. What are the odds you've landed on an island? And she speaks English, so you're like, oh, heavens, my language! Uh, I myself am Naples, whom ever since at ebb beheld the king my father bereft. You've had a bit of word vomit, Ferdy. A bit of word vomit. You've sort of said a bunch of things all at once, because you're so amazed by the beauty of Miranda and her spirit attendant. La, 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 la. Time is frozen. Things move in slow motion. Glitter and petals are falling from the ceiling. It's all so beautiful. Oh, my God. Yes, spirit. Yes, yes, more, spirit, more. Yes. Oh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. And cut. See. And cut. Very good. Okay. Now, part two. Ferdinand is taken prisoner by Prospero and made to work. Yes. So, would you give... Yeah, Ferdy, you need to haul some logs around here. Yes, haul some logs. Very good. And Miranda is sad. But, you know what? It's good for you, Miranda. It's good for you. Because he's probably shirtless and sweaty in the hot sun, you know, being very handsome. Right, right. I know, exactly. Okay, Ferdy, can you show us, like, sweaty but sexy? Sweaty but handsome? Very good. All right, and my spirit... Pretend I can't see this. You're going to spy and report back to me. Spy on what, on what they're doing and report back to me. Director, are you ready? Yes? All right. Call it. And action. Miranda, go to Ferdinand. Oh, he's so sweaty. Alas, I pray you, work not so hard. If you'll sit down a while, I'll carry your logs to the pile. Ferdy, turn around. Face Miranda. Ferdy. And you're a prince, remember, Ferdy, right, Director? He's got to be very princely. So, Ferdinand, Ferdinand, go to Miranda, and now you say, No, precious creature, I had rather crack my sinews, break my back, than you should such dishonor go while I sit lazy by. Oh, very dramatic, Ferdinand. That was real drama. And now you're going to put the moves on her, Ferdy. Go to Miranda. Yes, going to put the moves on. Oh, you, so perfect. This is you, Ferdinand. So perfect and so peerless are created of every creature's best. That was pretty good. I don't know. What do you think, director? I think he can do more, yeah? Give it, really go for it, Ferdy. Really go for it. Oh, you, so perfect and so peerless are created of every creature's best. Oh, yes. I felt that, right? Yeah? Do you love me? I, beyond all limit of what else, do I love, prize, and honor you. I am your wife, if you will have me. My mistress then, and I thus humble ever. Give us a nice bow, Ferdy, a nice bow. Director, will you show him a nice bow? Will you just uh, demonstrate for a sec, Director? Oh, very good. Yes, so give us a bit of a hand. Nice. Ah, now, Miranda, super happy. 
My husband, then? And Ferdy, I, with a heart as willing as bondage heir of freedom. Oh, yes, Ferdinand, that is good stuff. Making all the ladies swoon. Woo! Yes, good. Phase two complete, I think. What do you think, director? Cut, good, scene, and scene, yes. Uh, Spirit, what happened? Tell me the good news. Yeah? No way. He said what? Oh, she did what? Oh, that's so sweet. You did a great job, Spirit. You were fluffing the love juice. It was so good. It's all you. So good. All right, guys. Phase two, check. Yes, on to phase three, which is punish the baddies. Yes, punish the baddies. Okay, because the baddies, as we recall, we had Alonzo, the king of Naples. There he is, the king of Naples. And Sebastian, the king's brother. Yes, and Antonio, my brother. Very nice. And of course, Trinculo, the court drunk. <laughs> All right, now, baddies, here's what's go been going down. Alonzo, Antonio, previously on Tempest, you guys plotted to, or, oh, no, sorry, Antonio, Alonzo, previously on Tempest, you guys plotted to get rid of me, Prospero, right? But now that you're all stranded on this island, Antonio, Sebastian, you guys are plotting to overthrow Alonzo. It's like the frickin' Sopranos up in here. And Trinculo, you're just having a good time getting drunk, all right? So, baddies, let me see your baddie. Let me see your evil position. Yes, evil poses. Oh, so good. And Trinculo, let's see you partying. Party time. Yes. Good, you guys. Okay, so you guys are wand... Oh, that's really good. You are excellent. Wow, I can see why you've won so many awards. My goodness. All right, so you guys are wandering on the other side of the island, and you come across a banquet in the middle of nowhere, which is not suspicious at all. Right? Just a banquet in the middle of nowhere. Hast thou performed my aerial? A grace it has, devouring, and these mine enemies are all lit up in their distractions. They are now in my power. And thus I'll leave them while I go to visit young Ferdinand, whom they suppose is drowned, and his and my loved darling. Great job, you guys. Great job. All right, phase three, commit. That was fun, huh? The harpy, pretty scary. Nicely done, everyone. That was really good. All right, so now we are going to phase four is the wedding of our beautiful Miranda and our fabulous Ferdy. There he is. And for this, we're gonna put on a little pageant. We're gonna have goddesses. Uh-huh, yes. Goddesses, yes. So we have Juno. The queen of the goddesses, right? Mother goddess, marriage, fidelity, all good things. 
And we have Keres, our lovely goddess of um, <clears throat> fertility. Uh-huh. You know what that means. That's right. Yeah, uh-huh. Get it, girl. Yeah, yeah. What, what? All right. But uh, first, I don't know, should we, like, make this garden a little bit nicer? Yeah, maybe restore it a little bit? Oh, you can use the same spell we used earlier on the uh, ship. Find a stick, a small stick near a tree. Yeah. And then you're going to put it on top of your mask. Snap. Snap. Wait, wait. We got to put it, we got to put it like right in the center there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Try it again. Put it right in the center there. Now you snap. Yes, now you circle. Good. Oh, nicely done, you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good stick. That's a good stick. Yeah, put it right there. Give it a snap. Give it a snap first. Yeah, you snap. There, now circle. Now circle counterclockwise. Yeah, you're doing it. Look at that. You restored the tree. Look at that. Nice. Good job. All right, let's keep going, you guys. It's looking really good. Yeah, making it really pretty for our bride and groom. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got to stand closer to the tree, I think. Get close to that tree. Whichever tree you want to restore, get nice and close to it. Yes. Ooh, maybe this one? Maybe, yeah, maybe that one. Good one. That's a good stick. Snap. Yeah. Snap. Oh, you got it. Yeah, it's counterclockwise. Good. Oh, see? Beautiful tree. Really nice. Really nice. Here we've got some other good sticks over here. What about these ones? I tr here, try this one. Here you go. Oh, I think this one will work. Over here. Ooh, look, you made an onion. Nice. <laughs> Come on over here, spirits. There's some good sticks. Here you go. Try this one. Yeah. Right by this tree over here. Nice, nice. Oh, it's looking beautiful. One more. Here we go. Maybe this one? Maybe this one here? Yeah. I think this is the one. Good times. Oh, yeah, you guys. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. We got the lighting change. Nice. All right. Beautiful job, Spirit. Beautiful job. Yes. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Paris, I like that location for the wedding. I think that's a good, a good location. All right. Ferdinand, Miranda, Ferdy and Miranda, my bride and groom, come stand by the wedding arch. Come to the wedding arch. And my goddesses. All right, are you ready to bless the couple, you guys? Are you ready to bless them with happiness in their marriage? Juno first. Juno, you ready for the blessing? All right, are you ready, Ferdy and Miranda? Look like you're in love. Look like you're in love, yes. Okay, Juno, I'm gonna sing your blessing. You ready? Okay. Honor rich is marriage blessing, long continue and increasing. Hourly joys be still upon you. Juno sings her blessings on you. And now, Keras, you're going to bless them. Are you ready, Keras? That was beautiful, Juno. Stay right there, gorgeous. Look goddessy. Yes. All right, Keras. Earth increases, poisons plenty. Barns and garners never empty. Vines and clustering branches growing. Earth with goodly burden bowing. Spring come to you in the harvest. In the very end of harvest. Scarcity and want shall shun you. Thus we put our blessings on you yes mazel tov oh i promised myself i wouldn't cry but my baby's getting married <laughs> so beautiful goddesses that was just like uh, so good you guys my god i can't even deal with how beautiful you all are oh gosh wow face four check big check you guys big check on that oh so good Right, the good have been rewarded, the bad have been punished, all is made well through marriage, which is how you know it's a Shakespearean comedy. <laughs> and with that blessing, we shall return. Ah, welcome back, everyone. 
Thank you so much for helping me put on the show. You guys were mwah, absolutely freaking fantastic. My gosh. And I think, remember I said masks are transformational. They change us and we are changed by them. If you hold out your mask, you will see you have gone through a transformation of your own. And you, my friend, a special one for you. A perfect new mask. You are transformed just as much as everyone else. Perhaps more so because of your understanding. Welcome to our Tempest family, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Witten Frank. I had an absolutely fantastic time with you all. I hope you enjoyed the show. Let's end on a big note. Let's give it one last hurrah with Shakespeare's own words. Let's raise our arms up. Let's gather this Tempest. Our revels now are ended. And these, our actors, as I foretold, are all spirits and are melted into air, into thin air. And like the baseless fabric of this vision, the gorgeous palaces, the cloud-capped towers, the great globe itself, and all which shall inherit will dissolve, and leave not a rack behind. For we are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. Thank you, guys. That's the end. Thank you so much. It's time for a dance party. Y'all are fantastic. I hope you had fun. Give it up. Let's dance it out. Let's shake it out. Shake it loose now. Celebrate good times. Everybody's partying. Yeah, feeling good. Oh, getting loose now. Shake it out. Leave it all on the floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my friends. Yes. So good. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day. You all are freaking amazing. Big group hug. Come on. Big group hug. Yes. Yes. Oh, you guys. Oh, you make my heart just sing. Thank you all so much. And... Auspicious scales and sail so expeditious and shall